you can reduce noise in camera or you can do it in post. And in this video I'm going to talk about how to remove noise in post and especially with the Topaz Denoise AI software. So Topaz Denoise AI software tutorial coming up. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. Let's get straight into the topic. I have a video about noise reduction in camera and you can watch it from there. In this video I'm concentrating on noise reduction in pose and especially a software called Denoiser AI from Topaz Labs. I actually got it for my drone shots and it worked really well on those as you can see from these two images. It had a 30-day trial period and after the trial period I bought the software for myself and it was only $79.99 and I think that was a very good deal for a software that is so good. This video is not sponsored by Topaz Labs. I just wanted to make this video because I think it's a very good software and it might work for you. Let's see how it works. Here you see I have taken a few sample images. I took the same scene with different ISO values. Uh, this one is 200 and this one is 25,600. Yes, I know 25,600 ISO is uh, not usable in my opinion. But of course, if that's the only way to get the image that you want, then just go ahead because it will be noisy. But if it's a one uh, once in a lifetime situation, then just go ahead and use that high ISO. And the reason that I took that, I wanted to see how Topaz Denoise IA works with those images. Let's start with the 3200 ISO. I have used the uh, uh, Topaz Denoise IA only as a plugin for Lightroom. It works as a standalone software and also it works as a uh, plugin for Photoshop. But I mainly use Lightroom for my image editing. That's why I've only used the plugin. But it works exactly the same way. It's only difference is that how you import the images into the software to for, for noise reduction. But let's see how it works. What I usually do first is I make basic image editing to the image first. This doesn't require much image editing. It's taken for purpose that I can show you how the, the software works. The first main thing and the most important thing is to expose your image correctly, as bright as possible. As you can see from here, the histogram is towards the right. And of course, it's a quite light image. It wasn't very dark when I took the image. And you see there are some dark parts here and we can we will see how the denoise software will will uh, work on that dark areas and then you have some details on on this side then you have some details on the building and and you have the lights that so there is a lot for the uh, denoise software to to work on so we will see that it won't uh, ruin the the small lights so it won't be a star killer first when i look at this image is that it's it's a bit blue so let's grab the uh, what do you call the the target picker for um, the uh, white balance and that is quite neutral that I know and as you see it can make or it will make the image a bit warmer and I like actually this one a bit better and it's not that much it corrected a bit the tint and then the temperature and here you can see the difference this is a bit too blue for my likings I like this one better and then I usually lower down the highlights a bit because the image is quite quite uh, bright and then also the exposure slightly down and when you expose to the right and then you lower the midtones and the highlights then you will uh, reduce noise the noise is not that visible if you do this in your image editing and this is always a good thing to do to expose as bright as possible without uh, blowing up the highlights and then lower the midtones with the exposure slider and the highlights with the highlights uh, slider. And now that uh, you still have some red here so we might take a little more but as you can see it will darken the sky and I don't want that so I will use the graduate filter and have the highlights only from here. So now this works a bit better. You could use the brush tool also because but it doesn't matter if it uh, lowers the highlights over there then we can take it a bit back and see now it starts introducing some red but it doesn't really matter we can leave it like that so there's a bit overexposed here but it doesn't really matter because it is a bright 
neon or not neon sign it's LED light most likely and I don't care if it's a bit bit uh, overexposed because it's it's pure white anyways now that we have done the basic correction to this image well actually there's one thing that I don't want to do is just to open up the shadows a bit when you if you look at the shadow area on the right you can see that the shadows will be brighter let's do this just for a um, uh, demonstration purpose this image doesn't need it but let's do it so that because usually when you open up the shadows you will introduce some noise and now that we have uh, done all the basic image editing let's click the right button on my mouse and you can see edit in and then you have Topaz Denoise one of the plugins here and this goes automatically you just uh, install the Topaz uh, Denoiser or Denoise AI software and then it will automatically detect that you have Lightroom and it will uh, kind of like um, install itself to to be a plugin I think that's the correct way to say it but let's do that and then it will ask you if you want to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments and yes we do and then we'll need to wait it starts preparing as you can see from here it starts preparing the image for editing and this might take a bit it's not the fastest way and my computer isn't the newest in the market so that's why this might take a bit longer than than if you have a more powerful computer and as you can see here you have some image uh, image noise here and some of them you might think it's it's horrible looking but I don't really see that it is that bad actually okay we have the navigator here where you can navigate to a place where let's see that we can place it here where we have the the lights and then you have uh, a auto bright preview here which will tell you that it detects the overall brightness of the image and it will in the preview it will open up the shadow so you can see how much the noise is reduced in the shadows it doesn't affect the actual image when you when you all done so that's just for your for your eyes so that if you want to have it a bit brighter let's see what happens if we put it normal or we put it strong it will open up the shadows you just barely see it but it will just a bit but i i've had it off just i haven't really found any use for for that particular feature this option here which the default is denoise ai which i have used almost entirely and it's so simple that you only what you do here is that you will press auto and it will mark the amount that it will um, denoise your image and sometimes i've realized that the, the ai doesn't really work perfectly you might want to adjust this one and i suspect that uh, on this particular image i need to make this higher but let's see what what the what they say i've turned the uh, the automatically update preview off it won't automatically update the preview i need to press this i find it i don't know it's easier it doesn't start doing it uh, automatically because as i said my computer isn't the fastest in the market it's a it's a pretty old mac pro uh, computer but it, it works fine with my 4k videos but sometimes with the with the newest software like this one it's it's a bit slow and if you want to make it faster you can go to uh, preferences and turn from the advanced preferences you can turn on en enable discrete C GPU will make it a lot faster and also if you have a fast computer you can try to allow the graphic memory consumption to be high I found it that it's a lot lot better and faster now we're getting there and let's see how it works so that we can check out how the image or the noise reduction works but on, on these settings I don't think it works that well I think we need to make that a bit higher let's say 0.18 and let's do it again oh sorry wrong button 18 and then we want to update the preview okay now it looks a bit better into my eye I would say that now it's it's uh, reduced the noise quite well and from the split view you can check out how much noise has been reduced and what what the original looks like and what the uh, version of where the noise reduction has been done looks like and you can you know move this slider to position wherever you want and then if you want to toggle between original and the processed image then you can just press your button that says original in the top and then when you are happy with the result all you do is you press 
apply down in the right hand corner and as you can see it will start processing your image it's done it will close the software and it will open Lightroom and you will end up with a TIFF file this is the before and after and as you can see it's a lot better let's uh, let's make a comparison here and let's see make it a bit closer as you can see here there is a big big difference if you look up up here for example this is nice and clean some small artifacts may be there but it doesn't matter really that much but let's uh, apply that a few of my bird images that I took of the eagles and if you haven't seen the video about the eagles you might watch it from there it's it's a video with uh, with uh, where I was uh, up in the northern part of Finland photographing eagles with uh, Olympus visionary uh, Jari Peltomäki who is a very famous Finnish bird photographer but check out that video after you watch this how do you handle noise in your images? What do you think of the noise and how do you handle it? Do you use any extra software use or what kind of uh, denoising you use? Or maybe you denoise the images in camera. Please tell me in the comments down below. Okay, here we have one image. It's already, uh, it's not a retouch at all, but let's see images that were a little bit higher ISO. Let's see this one. I've already done once it, but let's, let's look at this image. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry here. Let's look at this image. As you can see, there is... Uh, wait a minute. Let's go to the develop module. And see. And uh, I've done... I've synchronized settings and done some uh, 22 in the noise reduction. And it's done pretty good job on this image. As you can see here. It's not too bad. It's, it's uh, a bit noisy still and let's do the same thing you just edit in and you take topaz denoise and you do this again okay let's press auto and let's put the split view on and let's see put it right in the, in the eyes and then we will update the preview and see what happens and here we can see the difference on this image it it does it really really well as you can see from the from the bird and look at the background how much cleaner and nicer it is and on these images it works really really good and really well I, I, I'm really impressed and these are actually the first images that I took and used the Topaz Dino's IA that's why I took the city image which uh, to be honest didn't it didn't work that well on those images a bit de depends on what kind of images you have but I think it's a worth a try at least and as I said you have a 30-day trial period when you download the software I will put a link in the description down below so that you can test it yourself and it's only $79.99 or something like that at the time when I was making this video but let's see what the the white tail eagle I think this one is looks like when it's done Okay, here we have the the eagle now. Now it's it's really nice and clean. Maybe a bit too soft for for some some here. It could be a bit less, you know, plastic looking here if if I really look very very close to the image. But most likely, if you post this, let's say on on, on Facebook or or Instagram, it will look perfect. But yeah, I know. You will want to know what happens to the 25,600 image. It's this one here, 25,600, and let's do develop. And, and as you can see, it uh, looks horrible, to be honest. Okay, here you can see it's, uh, it's a bit better, but to be honest, I think the original looks a bit more natural. It makes a quite bad artifacts. And let's see if we can enhance the sharpness a, a bit more what happens and yeah actually now the the sky looks a bit better at least the sky and from here but you can see some artifacts there and uh, I'm not really sure it's it's I think it actually gets worse and as a as a conclusion I would say that uh, it works on some images and with some images like the one in the city that I took it's not the perfect 
solution for that but uh, the workflow goes it usually gives you better results if you make the image as bright as possible in in your when you're making the exposure when you're photographing the the scene then you lower the exposure a bit the midtones and then you will lower also the highlights and then if the image is very very bright in the shadows too you might add a, add some contrast or darken the shadows to make the image a bit um, darker then you will get a better result and but it all starts from from when you're taking the image that's when you start to reduce noise by making a good exposure as you saw denoise ai from topaz labs is a very powerful software to remove noise from your images and next you might want to watch this video about noise reduction or you might want to head to my uh, website and see the options from there how I can help you to become a better photographer. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.